Hey, welcome to Rock Talk with Jackie Neal. I'm going to be talking with all kinds of entertainers, musicians, artists, comedians, singers, songwriters, bands about their life, their career, their inspirations, their philosophies. I'd love for you to subscribe, like, and leave us a review. My guest today has won an Academy Award and a Golden Globe Award. She's been nominated for a British Academy Film Award and a Primetime Emmy. In 2019, she received the Jean Hersholt Humanitarian Award for her work fighting gender bias on and off screen in Hollywood. She made her acting debut in the film Tootsie with Dustin Hoffman. She also starred in The Fly, Beetlejuice, Thelma and Louise, for which she received an Oscar nomination for Best Actress and A League of Their Own. She also played Stuart Little's adoptive mom in that movie franchise. On the TV side, she portrayed the first female president of the United States in Commander-in-Chief, which won her the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress Television Series Drama. Her later films include Accidents Happen and Marjorie Prime. In 2004, she launched the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media, which collaborates with the entertainment industry to dramatically increase the presence of female characters in media. Through the organization, she launched the annual Bentonville Film Festival in 2015 and executive produced the documentary This Changes Everything in 2018. We didn't have very much time together, so I didn't want to ask her questions that everybody else asks. So you ready? Here we go. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Ms. Gina Davis. I know we don't have very much time, so let's just launch in talking about the 8th Annual Bentonville Film Festival. Fantastic. I know you're super excited because this is a passion that is really close to you, championing women and diversity in all media. Let's talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. That The whole uh, mission of this film festival is to, as you said, champion underrepresented storytellers on and off screen. You know, we want to use our platform to have a, a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. And that is something that you have done for a long time. In fact, the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media that's exactly what you do. And so this is right in line with your sweet spot. Yeah, absolutely. It it is a way to expand what I was doing with the Institute, also into um, behind the camera, because uh, the Institute uh, is very, very uh, focused on on screen representation, you know, of diversity. But the festival looks at all the categories of people working on films, the, uh, you know, the writers and cinematographers and, and all those people. So it's very exciting. And this is something that doesn't have to be attended just in person, it can be online as well. That's right. We created a, a virtual side, you know, the pandemic and everything, but we're going to keep it now because we realize that a whole new audience can enjoy our films. We want to keep them involved. I want to talk about your memoir coming out, Dine of Politeness, My Journey to oh, yeah. Badassery. <laughs> so uh, when can we look for that? I think it's coming out October, sort of mid-October. Yeah, I'm excited about that. You're the first person that's asked me about it. It's so fun. So many of your movies are so well known to so many people. I mean, you're an Academy Award winner and a Golden Globe winner. The onion peeling scene in Hero was one of the best scenes for me being in media. It just changed my trajectory, how I looked at media, stories about people and researching people and interviewing people. The dirt isn't always where we want to go. Right, right. Wow, that's incredible. I, I, I'm so happy you love that. You want me to tell you a funny story about that scene? We're going to shoot it. You know, I'm peeling this onion, and I'm supposed to start crying, and you don't know, you know, is it the onion, or is she actually moved? And so I I bought a giant bag of all different kinds of onions to find out which were the most tear-inducing. And I tried them all the night before, and I found the one, you know, okay, get this kind of onion, and, and everything. And when we went to shoot the scene, my tear ducts had been utterly dried out. Uh, <laughs> We could not, I, I could not get any tears, even just trying to make myself cry, I couldn't produce tears. We made juice out of onions and put it in my eye. Oh my gosh. And I still couldn't cry. And the director said, oh, well, why did you have to practice? <laughs> A little too much prep on that one. Oh, yeah. It was very funny in a weird way, yes. Member of Mensa, highly intelligent. You have so many gifts. You play so many instruments. I mean, you just do so many things that you are good at. 
like the archery thing. At 41, you almost made the Olympic team, you know, and you've said, I've tried many things and I'm just good at them. But what people don't realize is it also takes a lot of hard work to be where you are in your life. Yeah, yeah. Tremendous hard work, you know, three, four, five hours a day. Just incredible dedication to it. But I became obsessed. You really. see, <laughs> that's my secret sauce is that I become obsessed with stuff and and I have to take it as far as it will possibly go. What is one thing that your fans don't know about you, but that you'd like for them to know? Oh, that's interesting. What would it be? Well, how about I used to play the organ in my church when I was a kid. We had a youth service early in the morning and then and then the regular service and because I was taking organ lessons I ended up playing <laughs> uh, at you know 12 and 14 uh, in church that's pretty cool man did that lead then to you picking up other instruments no that was the third one I had already oh. studied piano and flute for many many years and then uh added organ. Gotcha. And you were fluent in Swedish. The only thing I know in Swedish is a cuss phrase. So I'm not even going to say it. Oh, really? I wish you would say it. <laughs> okay. It's Yavala Huit. That's all I know. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so it's like hell shit. <laughs> <laughs> All this time, I thought it was eat shit. Sorry about that. So, okay. It's kind of like damn shit. <laughs> hey, listen, I know you have got to get going. Thank you for being so generous with your time. Gina Davis, it's really been an honor to talk to you. You've had a great impact on my life. Oh, that's incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in to Rock Talk with Jackie Neal.